Coinbase One monthly subscription. With Coinbase One, there are no trading fees on your first $10,000 of trades each month, and a spread still applies. Also, this is only for Coinbase Simple Trade, not Coinbase Advanced Trade. You would make a simple trade in the main Coinbase site, such as what is shown on screen. Coinbase Advanced Trade is not free. Bear in mind, if you're using the Coinbase API, that is actually the Coinbase Advanced Trade API, and a Coinbase One subscription does not apply to Coinbase Advanced Trade API. There are boosted staking rewards where you can earn higher rewards when you stake eligible reward earning assets. And to that point, you should definitely check the staking eligibility. For example, I live in California, and if I'm not mistaken, the only thing that I can stake with Coinbase is USDC, which is a stable coin. There is a dedicated 24-hour, seven-day-a-week phone support where you can speak directly to a Coinbase One team member for account help. Bear in mind that this is a call center, and the staff members are not necessarily going to be crypto experts but they will be available to speak with you. There's an additional $1 million account protection where your account is protected by a warranty against vulnerabilities in Coinbase's systems for authenticating your login credentials, which is only available to members in the United States and the United Kingdom. Note how they don't say anything about if Coinbase were to go out of business or if Coinbase itself were hacked rather than your personal Coinbase account. Like most any insurance policy, you must have an active Coinbase One subscription at the time of the losses. Your Coinbase account must have been open for at least 30 days prior to the date on which you sustained the reimbursable losses. You will have to have completed the KYC, which is know your customer. You will have to be using an authenticator application or a security key or push notification through your Coinbase mobile application as two-factor authentication via SMS is not sufficient to be eligible for coverage under the Coinbase account protection. This means that you can't just use your phone to receive a text message for your two-factor authentication. You must also file a police report with your local police department in connection with the reimbursable losses and send the report to Coinbase along with a reasonably detailed description about what happened and your customer support ticket. This is also a one-time reimbursement, as you must not have previously received a reimbursement for losses under the Coinbase account protection. And there are, of course, other details to what is and is not covered. Along with your Coinbase One subscription, you'll get a pre-filled Form 8949, which will be helpful when filing your taxes and this is only available to members in the United States. It is also worth mentioning that you can get this same type of assistance from a lot of other places, which won't be limited to just Coinbase. For example, you could use Coinly instead, or perhaps Coinledger. Coin Tracker would be yet another option, or maybe you would prefer Crypto Tax Calculator. If not, maybe Coin Tracking offers what you're looking for. It is worth mentioning that Coin Coinbase does have some level of insurance, even if you're not using Coinbase One subscription. However, it doesn't cover unauthorized access to your personal Coinbase account due to a breach or loss of your credentials. Cash balances, not crypto, such as US dollars, British pounds, or euros are held as a balance in your Coinbase account. For US customers, Coinbase combines your balance with the balances of other customers and holds those funds in either custodial accounts at US banks, invests those funds in liquid US treasuries, or USD denominated money market funds in accordance with state money transmitter laws. That money might be with JP Morgan Chase, Cross River Bank, Customers Bank, or Pathword. While the zero trading fee benefit does not apply to advanced trade, Coinbase does provide a 25% fee rebate in USDC. There is also the monthly one up benefit, which gives Coinbase One members an opportunity to claim or earn entries into Coinbase sweepstakes. Sweepstakes are not available in all regions or to all users, and they may not occur every month. I think that Coinbase One 
might be right for a very specific retail customer. Anybody who wants to make their life as easy as possible, they're not going to transfer crypto off of Coinbase. They're not going to self-custody. They're not going to be really using other DEXs or centralized exchanges, MEXC, BingX, Kraken, Crypto.com, Uniswap, Trader Joe, Pangolin. There are many, many other options besides Coinbase. But if you're not going to be using anything but Coinbase, and if you're going to keep everything on Coinbase at all times, and if you aren't interested in using any other third-party service to help with your taxes, then I think Coinbase One is something that is worth consideration for you. For pretty much anybody else, I don't think Coinbase One is worth the cost. Even if you do use Coinbase and you don't have Coinbase One, you can still just use the advanced trade to severely reduce the fees that you pay on Coinbase. If you're a bot trader, you're not going to get free fees for Coinbase Advanced, but the insurance might be of interest to you. So I think that there are one or two specific niches of people or demographs that may be interested in this. I think that the majority of people, people that are really into crypto and they're going to be doing self-custody, they're going to be using things other than Coinbase. I think you'd be better off putting that money towards a different service to help you track your crypto portfolio as a whole and to help prepare your tax forms. Do you currently use Coinbase One? And if so, what are your thoughts on it? Or maybe you've been considering getting Coinbase One. After watching this video, are you still considering getting Coinbase One? 